Hello. This presentation is prepared for Kennesaw State University C-Day Spring 2021. My name is Nathan Rowe, and I'm a team member on the Capstone Project Malware Analysis Using Reverse Engineering. The project aims to analyze malware applications using open source tools, uh, identify malicious activities by reverse engineering, and overall understand what the industry is doing for uh, reverse engineering with binary analysis tools and debuggers. Some of our project goals included researching open source malware debugging technologies. We expanded to research enterprise and open source malware prevention technologies, as well as uh, some best, me best methods for mitigation strategies. Uh, we selected and tested two to three debugging tools and documented the process for reverse engineering. Uh, test at least one prevention tool and understand that company's approach to detection, prevention, and recovery. And then finally present our findings and supporting documentation. In our milestone overviews, the first milestone we focused mostly on research for both the open source and enterprise technologies. And we built some supporting documentation for best practices and commonly used tools. In milestone two, we switched from research to actually execution. Uh, we installed and tested with uh, Sentinel-1, the EPP EDR solution that we selected, uh, as well as both open source technologies and started utilizing them to reverse engineer real pieces of malware. In our final milestone presentation, we concluded our findings and provided an overview of the whole uh, Capstone project. The tools we selected for malware debugging were IDA Pro and WinDebug. The EPP EDR solution that we selected was Sentinel-1. We also prepared an employee security quiz as another piece of uh, supporting research into the industry surrounding malware prevention. We provided a risk mitigation strategy a malware recovery process, and we built a tools comparison matrix comparing IDA Pro and WinDebug. These were the two open source technologies that we selected for the actual malware reverse engineering. And in this matrix, we cover the pros and cons, summarizing that IDA Pro is stronger for the user experience, and WinDebug is stronger for support, Windows backing, and it's a truly free and open source technology. Our website contains links to uh, all milestone presentations and supporting reports, of which we have over 100 pages of documentation. You can access each of these sections through the navigation bar at the top of our website. And there's also a testing demonstration link. In the testing demonstration, we recorded around a 20 minute video where we take a piece of malware and we utilize both IDA Pro and WinDebug to break that piece of malware down, reverse engineer it, and understand what it's doing. Challenges along the way included access to licenses for some of the tools, finding suitable substitutes when tools fell short early on, a testing environment, executable malware, a lot of the stuff was just binaries. None of us had prior experience with debugging, and there's really not much industry review comparing IDA Pro and WinDebug. Overall, the team found this capstone project to be an incredible learning experience, and although there were many late nights, we truly enjoyed increasing our abilities through hands-on learning with these tools. We hope you found this brief presentation interesting and we'll go to our website to explore our full research. Thank you very much for reviewing this project.